today we're going to learn about the IDEX uh, cold alert method with uh, water. We're going to test for total color forms in E. coli using a Quantitray 2000 manufactured by IDEX. Um, we're going to be using this reagent, which is cold alert reagent. comes in little packets. We're going to be adding that to our water sample and pouring it into a tray to get a quantitative result. First of all, I'm going to put up a blank. So this is just sterile DI water. We're just going to pour to the 100 mil mark. That's all we need to run this test. Okay, I'm going to shake our samples a little bit. Okay, we have our blank sample one and sample number two. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to go ahead and loosen my caps. And separate the packets of Cold Alert. Okay. I usually tap the packets to make sure all the powder is in the bottom uh, well there. And then you're going to snap it open. Try not to touch the opening of the packet. Now we're going to pour the contents and we want to avoid touching the uh, rim of the bottle or the inside of the lid. And then we're going to put the cap back on. Go to sample number one. Tap. Snap it open. Pour in the contents. Sample number two, we're going to add the reagent also. Now I'm going to shake all of these approximately 25 times. Okay, eventually all of the powder will dissolve. And then take your trays. Okay, the first one I'm going to put up, this is your quanta tray. The first one I'm going to put up is the blank. Um, for this tray you have 40, 49 large wells and we're including the overflow well. This is what's going to catch the overflow when we put it through the tray sealer. You have 48 small wells. Okay, take the tray and kind of uh, curve it in your palm of your hand. Um, gently take the tab and try to open it up without tearing the tray. Usually try to have my lids loose before I do that. Okay, so there we have it open. Okay, I us usually pour it down the side with the foil. It's going to cause a little bit of foam. But that's okay because we're going to uh, just tap it a few times to release the bubbles out of the wells that are get getting caught in there. Um, it's good if you have like a uh, box or something to stand them in. Um, because you don't want to put them, lay them down horizontally right now because you're 
the tops of the trays aren't sealed yet. We'll take sample number one. Do the same thing. Curve it in your hand. Pour it down gently down there. Tap it a few times to release the bubbles. Sample number two. Same thing. Okay, so now we're going to um, seal the trays. Um, this is the IDEX tray sealer. We have a rubber mat to set the tray in and to take it through the sealer. So um, you want to fit the tray into the mat where it's a perfect fit and just slowly run it through. Not pushing it without with force just like just it will take it through once you set it up here do you want to wait till it stops and then remove it and then you can set it on the counter if you like ready to do the next one Fit it into the tray, the mat. Run it through. And for a blank. Okay, now we're going to put them in the incubator, which is at 35 plus or minus 0.5. Now we're going to put our samples into the incubator. Okay, the incubator is at 35 plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and we're going to incubate these for 24 hours. Okay, it's been 24 hours. Now we're going to take these trays out and we're going to look at the yellow whales and the fluorescing whales. And these are what the trays look like. The yellow indicates total color forms. Now we're going to go check the fluorescence under the UV light. Okay, now we're going to look at the trays and we're going to determine the MPN for the total color forms and E. coli. So your blank, you expect none of them to be a yellow color. So <clears throat> The, this is negative for total color forms. Uh, our number one sample it is all yellow, so that means all the wells are positive for total color forms. So um, remember on the top part you have 49 wells, the large wells. This is the overflow well, you include it in that number. There's 48 small wells at the bottom. So all of these are positive. 
We have an IDEX Quantitrade 2000 MPN table that you can go to to determine the MPN number. So we're going to look on our um, chart here and we're going to look up 49 large wells and 48 small wells which will mean that that tray is greater than there's a number there at the bottom greater than 2419 that is the maximum amount okay for sample number two we're going to look at the total color form wells we're going to count the yellow wells for the large and the small wells that are yellow also so there are 13 positive large wells and one positive small well so we're going to look at our NPN chart again 13 13 and 1 is our 16 NPN per 100 mils so now we're going to look at the fluorescence we don't have to look at the fluorescence for our blank because there were no total color form wells positive okay number one we're going to put that under a UV light and we're going to count our fluorescing wells we have 49 large positive and 45 small positive wells for E. coli so we're going to again go to our NPN table we're going to go to the 49 and then look up 45 and come down and look at our number which is 1732.9 as our NPN we're going to look at the number two sample and check for fluorescence and we did not have any fluorescence on that well so it means it's just has total color forms and no E. coli so that would be reported as if you have zero and zero it would be reported as less than one